Hello everybody, I am Nico D. I've already told you that Armbian was working on new desktop environments for Armbian. Well, now they are here. They are still in beta version, so they are not completely polished yet. So some things may not work. So in this video I'm gonna show you them all. We all know the XFCE4 desktop, so I'm not gonna show that. So there is the Budgie desktop, the Cinnamon desktop, the Gnome desktop, the Mati desktop and of course the XFCE desktop. So you can download them all for the M4 V2 right now and also for a few other boards but not yet for them all. They all come with Panfrost and Hardware Accelerated desktop. So first is the Gnome desktop. This is the one that I like the least. This looks and feels a bit like Android. For me it feels closed. I don't like it much. But I know a lot of people do like it. Something that is good about GNOME is the settings page. So all the settings are here in one page or in one app. And this is pretty good. That is something that is better here than with XFCE4 or MATI. One thing that doesn't work yet is changing the background image. That will probably soon be fixed. So appearance also doesn't work yet. So have a look around, it's also the first time I see it, so it's new for everyone. So here is privacy, sharing, sound, so to select your sound device. Power. And something else that also isn't working yet is a higher display resolution than 1080p. So here you can scale it to 200%. So for people who have an impaired vision this can be very handy. So for me too. Keyboard shortcuts, if you want to learn them, here you can see them all. Printers, removable media, color, region and language. For changing your keyboard you have to change it at region and language. So that's it about. So here you see it is using Panfrost and Armbian 21.02.2 Focal. And here are the applications. So this is what I don't like about it. This is just like Android. For desktop tasks I don't find that very useful. But maybe for older people or for kids this could be easier to work with. Another thing I don't like about it is when you want to use multiple windows of the same application. So here for example I want to have multiple terminals. I need to open it with Ctrl Alt T. I can't open it with this window, not that I know. And when you have two windows open you can't select which window you want to use. So I don't like that. And another thing is the file manager. So the file manager looks very bare, there's not a lot of information, you can see how much space there is left on a system. And there are no colors, it looks a bit like the old Macintosh file systems. There are better file systems than this. NVMe also works with these desktop environments, so if you want a bit better performance you can install it onto an NVMe. And the second is the budgie desktop. It is okay. I don't like the look that much. It looks way too bare, but for some people this will be okay. The user interface is pretty good. It is adjustable. That is something that I like. So the applications button, all the icons are pretty big. So again, good for people who see badly. It is very functional. I don't dislike it, but I also don't like it. The control panel looks a lot like the GNOME control panel. So that was a good thing about GNOME. So that's also good about this. Oh. 
here we can change the background and I must say it makes it look a lot better. Though opening a new background folder doesn't work. The file manager again has got very big icons, it also looks very bland and there is no information of available disk space. Some people will like this, but it isn't for me. And the tart is cinnamon, so my first impressions are very good. I like the look, I like this more than gnome and budgie. So the application panel is pretty cool, everything is in one window, but I like the look of it. It is a bit laggy, whenever I click a button things don't happen immediately. So it is the most laggy of all the desktops that I've used. I am recording this with Kazam, so that also uses the CPU, but it shouldn't make it that laggy. I also like the Wi-Fi selection box, you can see the Wi-Fi strength, that's something I really like. The file manager also looks a lot better to me. You can also see how much space there is left, so I like that. This is how a file manager should look like. So I really like the appearance of cinnamon. I also had never used it before and it is nice but a bit slow. One thing that I find strange is that there is no terminal. I cannot open a terminal with Ctrl Alt T and there is no terminal to be found here in administration. I don't know why that is, I want a terminal in my desktop. The control panel or system settings is very basic, but it is all there. It is very customizable so you can also make it look the way you want it. And I was last the Mati desktop, so I like the Mati desktop a lot. I use it on every Linux distro that isn't Armbian. And I also always make Armbian XFCE look like Mati with two taskbars. It also has the right tools that I like for my taskbars. So CPU frequency monitor, a system monitor and an app to watch the temperatures. For me the Mati desktop is the best of these four. There isn't anything new to see for me, you can also customize it any way you want it to. Background images don't work yet. When these will all be ready I will probably start using the Mati desktop instead of the XFCE4 desktop. There isn't that much difference, but the feel is for me just very good. The control panel is for me very familiar. It isn't as fancy looking as the GNOME control panel or the one from Budgie, but it does the job. I like Mati Dark. I often use this on x86 SBCs. And also the file manager is very familiar to me. It is how I like a file manager. Functional and all the details that I need, so I can see the free space and also very handy to use the network. And also a topper from Mati as a Mati system monitor. I also use it with Armbian XFCE4, since the XFCE4 system monitor isn't very good. So for me the Mati desktop is the best of all. It is cool that Armbian now will come in a lot more flavors. So that's it for today, I hope you all like my video, see you all later, bye!